you take a look at the continent of Africa with 54 countries, the same engagement with China, Latin America, India, that this community already does really well. I'm just saying, take a look at Africa, there's incredible commercial opportunities on the continent. In order to really accelerate your economy and grow industry, you have got to aggressively recruit foreign investors to come into your country and build first-class businesses. We're probably the largest exporter of fully washed specialty Arabica out of Ethiopia. We're the largest out of Uganda. It takes, not millions, it takes tens of millions of dollars to support this infrastructure across the 20 countries that we're in today. We have palm oil, gold, rubber, and rice. In the um, 1950s and 1960s, Nigeria was the largest palm oil producer in the world. Malaysian and Indonesian um, investors came to Nigeria. Today, Malaysia and Indonesia are the largest palm producers. They produce palm oil with palm kernel seeds found in Nigeria. So, a key to being able to, to help farmers be able to produce enough corn and soybeans to be able to help the animal agriculture. We know AGOA is a, a U.S. law, a legislation that was put into effect in 2000 um, of opportunity into the U.S. market. It, it allows for duty-free entry of up to 7,000 products into the U.S. market. USDA is the U.S. government's project preparation arm. Uh, we focus on early stage infrastructure projects in three priority sectors, transportation, ICT, and energy. Our mission is to mobilize private capital to support critical development challenges abroad. So more simply put, what that means is we provide uh, loans and political risk insurance to U.S. investors trying to enter into emerging markets. So if, if deciding to go to these seven countries in is Africa, the materials, on the technology, on the production know-how, the buyers, uh, trust, and the vendor compliance. Those are the main topics that a potential buyer is going to be looking from a business perspective. I'm passionate about technology, so I built a social network of doctors, and that passed forward to um, five years. It has gone to 11,000 Nigerian doctors. Um, it's the biggest social network for doctors in Africa. So for me, you know, blockchain was sort of a solution. It's almost like it's a solution that showed up that we wish we had 10 years ago. So a quick summary is to look at the um, funding food chain. There's no trouble of enough money. But the problem is breaking the money into smaller chunks. It's business will always happen through relationships. So I think having conferences like this where you're bringing people together, people with capital, decision makers, you know, this is how business get, gets done and this is how we go about increasing trade with Africa. So attending this kind of forum for me is a great honor and privilege because I can share findings of our research. Have you enjoyed it oh, here? Have you met some interesting people? Terrific. I, I had notes from just even the, the uh, opening dinner last night. I had notes to follow up on. I was up 4.30 this morning to an email. It's a terrific group. Wonderful. Thank you very much. You bet. I invite you to take advantage of the sponsorship opportunities we have with the Trade with Africa Business Summit. Um, visit our website for more information.